Hey, everybody. I'm just uh, testing out my new blue blockers. What do you think? They're a little big, but they're kind of stylish. I think they're kind of cool. They're all right. But I might get some glare. See the light? Now you know all my secrets. Aha. Um, it's funny. When the light comes in behind you, like this gorgeous window and this like snowy, sunny day, it just throws all the light behind you. And then like this area is really dark. So just be sure to get your lighting set up um, if you're doing these things like in your own groups and stuff. But happy Monday. Hello, hello. I'm so happy to be here. Um, showing up Monday ready to rock because this is our media month. And oh my goodness, I'm also celebrating because it's um, the kids are back in school. So if if you are in Canada and that happened to you this week, uh, congratulations, golf clap to all of you who got through and who can now, um, you know, lovingly send your kids on the way. That means you can focus. You can focus on you, what you do best. And um, what we're talking about here today is making a case for you in the news. So I'm popping in on Mondays, but then I come back on uh, Thursdays with like a little deeper insight into this. So I'll just introduce the topic on Monday. And guys, if you're not getting this, this is a muscle that I really, really, really love you guys to practice. I know media sounds really scary when you are talking about, um, you know, your your local market or even the regional media outlets or newspapers you have. It's like, gosh, I get one shot at this. You know, what if I do it wrong? That's why I'm here. I am trying to help you out to take that first step um, because, you know, in certain cases, the the worst case is it's like they're just going to put you in the category of advertising. So what you don't want to happen when you go ahead and call up your newspaper or whatever is for them to say, great, that sounds like it. That sounds interesting. Let me put you through to advertising. OK, that's something you don't want to hear. It just means that the way you have positioned the, the interesting story that you probably found really, really important to share. They weren't hearing it properly. And my goal, you know, my job, of course, for this last 25 years has been to position people in a place of authority so that they, you know, land high profile media and interviews. But you can do this on a very one to one level scale for yourselves um, in certain cases like you, you can. <laughs> it happens all the time. Now, I spoke last week that sometimes these things fall in your lap because you're already doing your brilliance out there. So if this has happened to you, kudos and congratulations, take advantage of that. Some things, things fall in our lap. But I'm talking about when it's a slow period or it's like a, a slow things, there's nothing much going on, let's say, in your industry. Or you are, you know, you have this belief that, oh, there's nothing really to talk about. Like, I don't know, you're an agent or you're in mortgages. You're like, well, the spring, you know, that's our hot time. But what do I talk about in the summer or the fall? The media aren't posting about that. Well, just ask yourself, should they be <laughs> like, is there a reason they should start thinking of this now? Because this is important. But today my topic is news v ads, news versus ads. How to come across as um, an actual news story versus um, somebody uh, that, you know, somebody that um, is just there to kind of get their name in the news and then they're going to send you over the advertising department. Um, if you are really, really struggling with this, I, I sincerely suggest you get on the phone and we can kind of sort this out in very quick order for you. Um, now, another thing I want to mention is if you're passing off this onto someone else, just be careful that it's somebody on your team. It, this is not something you want to pass on to the receptionist or the assistant. Okay. Number one, like, I would not. Um, if you do happen to have like a marketing team member or a social media team member that's very maybe well versed on your brand or, or the actual messaging that you put forward, you may have them take a kick at the can at this. But I'm going to say keep this close to you. So in the first few instances, it's really important that you understand how to pitch yourself. Um, no one should be able, I say this before, no one should be able to pitch yourself better than you. Um, I don't care who's doing your marketing. You know, you really need to have this dialed in so that you can dial in and keep fostering these messages to your whole team. So that's number one. Take it on yourself. And then just as a precursor for what I'll get into on Thursday, 
how do you do things that don't make them, uh, you know, the media outlet or however you got there? If it's a if it's a genuine story and you're in your news, they're going to put you through to the right person. Um, so don't worry too much about that. But you don't want them to put you through to the advertising department. And here's a little litmus test that I want you to do. And you can even if you're thinking right now, maybe you have something in the back of your mind, like I wonder if this is something my paper would want to hear about um, my local. You know, is this a good story? Is this good for, you know, um, the television media in my area? Um, is this a better radio interview or whatever? I want you to do this little test and just test yourself that let's say you wrote an email and in the title of the email or the title of the press release, are you able to communicate this story without your name in the title? That's the little test I want you to try. Are you able to communicate your story idea without using your company name or your name in the title? That's just the very first test. And I think really quickly people start to under, you will start to understand where I'm going with this. Um, as experts who are asked their opinion of editors and producers, you know, that's that's where I live, but that's where I'm I'm trying to guide all of you to understand that you could be there too. But you have to understand that it's it's viewing yourself and the audience in a very different way. They won't put you on the news because you're you, right? They won't put you on the news because you have a successful business. They won't put you on the news if they feel like it's a, an attempt to just take advantage of being on the news. And of course, everybody knows that this could, they recognize that this is worth something. Why do you think advertising and paid content is so expensive? It's because the value that it, the, the understood and perceived value that these lucrative opportunities provide. And all my goal is, is to get, you know, my clients as you become more used to your messaging and um, sharing it with the world in the right way that you take advantage more and more and more um, of this opportunity for yourself. So learning how to pitch yourself, super important. I'm going to I'm going to leave it there. Do the litmus test and then come back Thursday. Um, Thursday at noon, I normally do these little mini master classes, probably go for 20 minutes and I might have another exercise for you. But I actually really want to know the titles that you come up with and just throw them in the chat. And then I'm going to challenge you, anybody who participates with, um, hey, have you thought about this? Or, hey, have you thought about that? So if you are if you are engaged enough here to actually give me your title, I will help you for free. Um, this is all I'm here to do. So I'd probably take advantage of some of that. Like, hey, I was thinking about this for a title. What do you think? And then I can help you <laughs> um, really quickly. It's, it's really simple. But I... If, if this is an area that you struggle with, I do recommend let's get it this sorted now. Spring is coming up. I'm looking at the calendar. I'm looking at the calendar of events, even for some of my clients and the launches coming up or they have new things that they want to talk about or announcements. And you really got a sense of got to get a sense of timing on this to take the most advantage. So I just don't want those opportunities to slip away from you. All right. Anyway, I'm happy you're here. Happy Monday. We're going to love on the media this whole month because it's all about Feb. It's all about the love. And um, I want you to start loving this process too. Don't be scared of it. Let's just jump into our expertise and there's no better time to practice, right? So anyway, I'm going to put these on and I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Ciao.